is going to show up. Praise the Lord, everybody. How you doing? This is the Lord's name is to be praised ministry. My name is Vanessa McClendon. Praise God. We're going to go into the book of Romans chapter 12. It's a book of Paul, one of his books. Thank you, Apostle Paul. Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for what you've done. We thank you for 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 look for um, watching us last night. We slumber and slept. Oh God, I ask you to to uh, look out on our nations and pre our presidents and each and every one down to whatever the bottom of the list is. Lord, I ask you to look on them, Lord, save and have your way. Look on our nations and as we go on through. Uh, oh God, at this. Uh, uh, many multiple things that are going on. Lord, we thank you. Everything's in your control. You want us to trust and trust you with all our heart. Oh God, we thank you for all that you've done, all that you're going to do. Look on our ministers and leaders and have your way. Oh God, have your way in me, Lord God. Open up my understanding of your word. Open up all of our understanding of your word. Have saved today, Lord. Oh God, we thank you for all things, your goodness and mercy, your love, how you gave your son. You gave all, praise God, for us. Oh God, Jesus name have your way Lord thank you Jesus In Jesus name amen hi how you doing everybody get your Bibles out and we're getting ready to get into Romans chapter 12 we read along with me and uh, praise the Lord and if you happen to have any comments you can you can come uh, leave your, you can leave your comments uh, leave me a comment if you want me to read because I don't mind replying praise I just appreciate you Appreciate uh, the Lord touching your heart to, to uh, tune me in. Y'all pray for me too. Praise the Lord. Okay. Uh, praise the Lord. This is uh, the change that uh, once we accept Christ, this is uh, chapter 12. It's going to cover, I mean, it, it, it's going to, these. I'm going to kind of mention a few things that happened previously. Uh, from um, I think it's not all of it. Just listen, bits and pieces from eleven, uh, chapter one through eleven of Romans. But we're in, we're in uh, Romans twelve. How how we present our body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Praise the Lord. This is our reasonable service. What the Lord has done for us. It, I'm gonna leave this necklace alone. You don't have to be perfect. Praise God. We're here to do. I thank God. Okay. I beseech you therefore, brethren, chapter verse twelve, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice. Praise God. You know that in the Old Testament the people used to uh, sacrifice animals. This is the only this is the, the Jews, the, the Hebrew people. Uh, they were the same, Hebrew and Jews. But they um, sacrificed animals. God, this was God's plan for them to sacrifice animals, only for atonement for their sin. The final sacrifice we know was Jesus, and that sacrifice they offered was was without blem without blemish. You couldn't have any spot or wrinkle, anything on that on the animal, and it had to be examined, and it was offered as a, uh, like a covering to Jesus come. But shedding, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Praise the Lord. And um, I'm going to mention a few things that might that were covered, uh, but just briefly say a few things on them from verse 1 to 11. I beseech you. So he's begging your brethren uh, uh, by the mercies. What are the mercies of God? What are the mercies of God? We can see in the previous chapter justification by faith. What does justify mean? It means that you declared righteous. Praise God. So a justice righteousness of, uh, because of Jesus. We're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Uh, we declare uh, justified so we had never sinned because Jesus paid the price uh, by his blood. His blood cleanses us, cleanses us from all uh, and, and saved people that love Jesus. If you have no error for sin, I tell me nobody one who be habitual want to continue to do wrong. But he didn't know to do good and do it and not to him in the sin. But 
uh, there we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus the righteous. He said well, he would cleanse us, continue to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And it's a newborn babe's desire to send the milk of the word that you may grow thereby as we come into the family of Christ, as we're born again, baptized by God's Spirit to the body of Christ by, by uh, uh, believing in the gospel, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Romans 10 and 8. And uh, we have a we kick into a personal relationship with the Lord. And this is by faith uh, that we're able to access the salvation that God has uh, offered to us for free. This is a, another way you say born again as new birth. Praise God. Thank the Lord. And uh, and there's a new, there's a life. We're, just, we're justified by faith. We have access to God. We can come boldly to the throne of grace and, and obtain mercy. We can talk to the Lord. But there was no connection at first because due to our first father Adam has sinned, sin passed on all mankind. All have sinned and come show, show the glory. There's none righteous, no, not one. And uh, we have a hope, a blessed hope. One day we're going to be with the Lord uh, in heaven. We got a hope, praise God. And uh, and as we go on through different trials and tribulation, the Lord is molding us and shaping us in it, in, in, our, uh, in the trials and tribulation. Man is born of a few days were full of troubles to sparks fly upward. We're all going to have troubles in our life. You got to build your foundation on the best thing to build your foundation on Christ. Because it's going to be like sinking sand when uh, we don't trust the Lord. And God wants us not to be worried about anything. Cast your cares on for you care for us. Praise God. And he's the God of all comfort. His word will comfort no matter what you're going through. He will comfort our heart. You know, sometimes people look for happiness in all kind of ways, but all you gotta do is reach to the Lord and give, cast your cares on Him, and He'll, you know, He'll give us a, He'll, that I must say, let the peace of God that passes all that, peace of God that passes all understanding, keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. So God will give us peace if we give Him the, the uh, problem, whatever concerns us. But uh, that's one. Th uh, he shapes. We're shaped, uh, we're shaped and molded by God in, in the trial and tribulation that we go through by trusting the Lord. And we're overflowed by God's grace and mercy. God, gr grace is our merit favor. God gives us merit, our merit favor. He has rich and precious promises for the people of God. We didn't deserve what the Lord has done, but he, he did for us uh, because he loved us so much. Praise God. And uh, you have, the, you have the, the Holy Ghost. God uh, gives us uh, the saints, uh, the Holy Ghost, the, the body is a temple of God that dwell in it. The Holy Ghost dwells in this, this, this temple, praise God, hallelujah. And it, it opens up our understanding about Jesus. And the Holy Ghost will inspire men to write the scripture. The Holy Ghost gives us understanding as we read the word. And he, also, he has preachers and teachers, different people, to help us, you know, that, that who God had anointed in the word. To, to teach us, uh, teach us, and we we get the understanding is because of the Lord. If we get uh, you know spiritual understanding, it's from the Lord. To be able to uh, understand God, you have, the person has to be born spiritually, because a natural man can't understand the, the, the spiritual thing. This is spiritual discern, praise God. And then uh, and the promises for everybody, Jew and Gentile, God is working on the inside to transform us into His image, praise God. So let's go, uh, praise God. And he don't want us to be like this world, molded by the world. We don't want us to be a peculiar people. So you get your script. We're going to open up your Bible to Romans chapter 12, starting at verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren. So he's speaking to the brethren and sisters, but the brethren, women and two, by the mercies of God. God had mercy. You know, mercy is that you do not. You don't get what you deserve. A lot of times people do things and lots of people give mercy. Blessed are the merciful, so they, they shall obtain mercy. But he, uh, God has given us mercy. He didn't give us what we deserve, you know, by sin. And the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life by our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a wage to pay for uh, living, for doing sinful things. But our, when we our old man, we were our nature when we were born in sin was to do the wrong thing. But since we came into you come into the uh, the body of Christ since by by faith, access by faith, and the faith is what God gives you. Praise God, the mercies of God. He didn't give us what it deserved uh, that you present your body, because these other things that I said earlier was comes from God's mercy. He justifies by faith because of His mercy. 
Praise God. And we have access to God because of God's mercy. Praise God. We were enemies of the cross at one time. We were doing our thing. Well, because of what our, our forefather was Adam and that nature that we had, you know, the world, uh, the father that we had when we were born in sin was the, was the devil. And we have hope. It's a rich and precious promises. Okay, verse, uh, still in verse 1. And it says here, in mercies of God, by God's mercy, all the good things that are explained in previous chapters, some of the things I read was mercy, and our present that you may present your bodies, because in the Old Testament they offer animals sacrifice, but we're a living sacrifice. Uh, it's got to be a particular sacrifice. It's got to be without spot or blemish. And God make us that, made us that way. When He accepts us, He cleans us up, washes us in His blood. Praise God. And He cleans us up. And, and when He, um, the Father looks at His Son, He, it, it, He looks at us. He look, He sees the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He, he look through His, look at His Son. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, and with, a, with his, we got Jesus right since he took our sin. Okay, living sacrifice, holy, holy. You got to, you got to set apart, be set apart for the master's use, where God is able to use us. Sanctification, uh, with uh, set apart for the master's use us and acceptable. This is what God want to be acceptable sacrifice unto the Lord by having a clean life. Praise God. I don't expect us to live any kind of way. And uh, I can't help it. I can't help it. it. Doesn't work because God was God is, 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 is Jesus showed us He condemned sin in the flesh. So uh, we since we changed sides when we're born again, we're on the Lord's side. Praise God. And born again, we have God. God gives us. God helps us to live the right life, the, the clean life. He comes with it and lives it through us. Praise God acceptable and this you know with the sacrifice is acceptable it's a clean sacrifice he wouldn't want anything set before for you something and god doesn't want anything set before him and he worked out everything for us uh acceptable clean sacrifice you, your life the way you talk your manner of living praise god um uh, unto god which is reasonable your reasonable service what the lord has done for you ought to be uh um, doing everything we can love him with a whole heart soul mind and strength According to the ability that God has given us, um, give him everything because he's done it all, everything for us. In him we live and move and have our being. He's given us life, eternal life, praise God. Hallelujah. The food and things that we eat and, and uh, everything else that we do. To, uh, if you've got any promotions at your job, it's because of the Lord. We have nothing to glory in, you know, because God don't let anybody take his glory. And uh, But we are reasonable service you are we are, ought to be on top you ain't do you can't do too much uh you know like some time people uh you know we, when we go to church and we do faithfully on church witnessing and stuff this is what you ought to do what the lord had gave it all for you praise god but uh uh verse two and be not conformed don't be like everybody else you're a new creature you have to you have to uh turn away from things that are, are not like the lord and uh and and uh to the world be not conformed to this world you know like when we were in sight when we weren't saved we were doing the same thing as everybody else following it what everybody else was doing but god's not god's not we have to, we're a brand new creature and we t we uh take on the nature of christ and uh we, we have to constantly learn about to come unto me all ye that labor in heaven laden for i give you rest take my yoke of law on you learn to me Learn to me. For I make it lowly in heart, you shall find rest for your soul. You know, God humbled him. Jesus humbled himself until the death of the cross. So he wants us to humble ourselves and res Bob said, resist the devil. He'll flee from you. For how do you do that? You yield, walk in the spirit. You won't feel the lust of the flesh. Just uh, trust the Lord and walk in the and, 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 and with, with everything. And God will keep us from falling. We don't go, we don't walk by feelings. We walk, we walk by faith. And not by sight, praise God. And God gonna work in our for us. Be not, you know, what we used to be. We're not, we're newborn babes. The Bible says, newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. We are, there's growth, it's spiritual growth. I, Psalms, uh, I think it was Psalms one. Uh, let me read it right quick. How we have to do, how we have to constantly. Uh, I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, I'm on the wrong, wrong side. Okay. We have to constantly be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, and just so God will feed us. I was uh, this morning. I know I got to get into 
read a chapter, I'm trying to start uh, doing, uh, may, I'm trying to read a chapter a, a day, uh, a, well, yeah, a couple of, like Psalms 1 and Proverbs 1, like each day, like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get, you know, you got to feed that inner man, you got to constantly, so you can grow, okay, like, oh, okay, I think we're almost there, Psalms 1, praise God, and uh, we feel with this verse, this verse is so rich, Verse 1, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Praise God. Nor sitteth in the, at the seat of the scornful. So you, you're in a place where you ought not be. You're hanging with the, the uh, world. And that's what we was reading now. Verse 2, Be not conformed to this world. You know, we, we're new creatures. We can we have to separate yourself. Be not equally yoked together with unbelievers. Don't you know we um, we're not supposed to fellowship with the unfruitful work of darkness. And we see Psalm one: Bless your man is blessed. And he walked not with these people, not with the un ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinners. That's our old life. The old man is dead. He was crucified with Christ. We died with Christ. We rose with him in the newness of life. No sinneth in the seat of the scornful. You should not be found sitting with a bunch of sinners uh, carried on their thing. But his uh, delight is in the law. I enjoy God's word. I love reading his word. And his law do he meditate day and, day and night. And he should be like a tree. This word will bless you. It was tree like by the rivers of water. The water. We're drinking the word. The Bible says the harp panted at the water brook. So panted my soul after thee, O oh God. The harp is a deer. So thirsty. And we got to be, you know, when you're thirsty for the word, praise God. You, you, you get into it. You, you, you want to be satisfied. If you hunger and thirst at the righteousness, you shall be filled. And this is an everyday thing. Uh, and it's wonderful, praise God, in this world. Okay, be not conformed to our old life, you know. But be ye transformed. Change. You know, like the butterfly change. We see a, a little uh, caterpillar. And then it goes through a change. We're transformed into the newness, renewal of your mind. How do you renew your mind? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Constantly feed that mind, the Word of God, and we have the mind of Christ. Praise God, and uh, we uh, praise the Lord. We gotta think differently, not as a Bible says, "So as a man thinketh, uh, so is he." Praise God. We have the mind of Christ. God transform us day by day. It's a gradual uh, transforming, and we grow in grace and the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There's a spiritual growth. You know, we, we don't, you don't over, it's not an overnight thing, you, but you're saved. You, in, the moment you accept Christ, it, it have, God gives you a measure of faith, and it, God gives you, well, you can be a, have an invitation to get, to be born again. And you take that uh, invitation, but it takes uh, gradual, you grow in grace, praise God. And you constantly feed the, the, uh, the spiritual man, praise God. You want to do the right thing. We love him so much. The love of God constrains us. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because the mind follows, the body follows the mind. Praise God. Hallelujah. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We want to walk in the will of the Lord. Praise God. We need to get in and pray and talk to the Lord uh, daily. Praise God. The Bible said, man should always pray and not faint. Renewing your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable, perfect will of God. So I remember, I thank the Lord. One thing about uh, sin, one thing people, me too, when I was in my mass, you'd be thinking, oh, I can do it. And I don't need no help. I can take care of the situation. But we're helpless beings. We need God's help. We, we get you, the devil will get you in something that you can't get out and uh, take God. God can get you out of any. If your mind is made up, you want Jesus. And then, and you, you're not too far that God can't save. Your hand, his hand is not too short that he can't save. His ear, ear is not too heavy that he can't hear. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. For I say through the grace given unto me, to every man, what is the grace of God? What is the grace of God? At least I think I've said, yeah, the grace is a mere favor uh, given unto me, to every man of himself. You know, here's the good. Let me get read this here. I'm gonna say it, read it again. But I say, I say, I say through the grace given to me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. You know, being prideful and and big headed and high minded, like you're all that. Praise the Lord. We're not. The only person that's great is Jesus. Praise God. He's great. 
And he's not going to give his glory to anybody. Humble yourself in the mighty hand of God. And he'll result you in due season. You know, you humble yourself. It's because whatever it is that's, that's exalt, that you think is prideful, God is the one that opens every good and perfect gift come from above. God gave it to you. He's the one that put it together, made it, created everything, even us. We have nothing to glory, but glory in the Lord. Praise God. God wants us to prosper and be in health with our soul prosper. Uh, rest of the verse, but to think soberly. He wants us to be humble. Because God, Jesus humbled himself until the death of the cross. You don't want, you know, and the devil got a big headed and, and uh, uh, big headed, praise God. And he ended up getting cast out of heaven, he wanted to be exalted himself above, over God. He wanted to be like the most high. He got cast out of heaven like lightning. So, but ye may prove what is, I'm sure, I think verse 3. Okay, but to think soberly, according to God, has dealt to every man that measure of faith. God gives every man a measure of faith. He gives everybody. To, when they give their life to the Lord, God present. He gives them a, in a measure of faith. For we, for as we have many members, this is the body of Christ. Jesus is the head. And all members have not the same office. People have different jobs in the body of Christ. And there's no need of anybody being jealous or whatever about no one. Because God, the Holy Ghost, gives jobs to whoever he want to give to. And it's to build up the church. It, you know, we're all in one body. Helping uh, build up each other, encouraging one another in the Lord. Praise God. So we being many, many people that are saved and in the body of Christ are one body in Christ. Every one member, one of another. Having then gifts, different, have people give God, the Holy Ghost gives whoever gifts you want to give to. Praise God. It's to build up this body, edify the body of Christ. Praise God. Uh, gifts differing according to the grace, God's grace, whoever you want to, that is, giving to us. Prophecy, the Lord gives some people prophecy to be able to foretell uh, what that said the Lord, God told them. But a true prophecy, person that said, has uh, a true prophecy, it comes to pass. When the Lord reveals something to someone, it comes to pass. Praise God. Let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, some ministry, God calls men, uh, ministry ministers, praise God. And uh, you got to wait on your calling. Some people just get up and run and get jump into the, the ministry. Yet to be called of the Lord. God calls his own ministers. Praise God. Let us wait on that ministry. And you know you got to wait. Don't just jump on and be a novice, a new person. Just wait on the Lord to exalt you. And get into learning the, you know, learning to work the word of God. And, uh, these, and you know we have to humble ourselves. Even myself, a lot of times, I mean I'm not, I'm not, have not, never will arrive. But uh, I know I'm saved and I love Jesus, but uh, I'm teachable. You gotta humble yourself because I'm teachable. I want if the Lord deal with someone else to open up a, uh, His Word to someone, and they want to tell me something that yeah, uh, something I, I don't mind listening. I don't, I don't mind listening because I don't know everything, but I thank God for what He blessed me to to know. So you know we gotta stay humble and um, uh, wait on that ministry. Verse seven on ministry. Let us wait on our ministry, or He that teaches on teaching. And uh, it's even, you know, I'm, I do, the Lord bless me to be, to teach. And uh, the Lord will, and you know, whoever God calls, he qualifies. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, and, and he, he will go according to your own ability. It's not, it's not you, it's the Lord in you, working in you, uh, doing his work. Praise God. And, uh, and also verse 8, or he that exalt. You know, exalt, I like to be around exalting people. These are people, words of encouragement to you. Everybody needs encouragement words. You know, no one trying to uh, take you down and stuff. Encouraging. Enc uh, he that exalted, praise God. He that exalt, on exaltation. He that give it, let him. So, uh, exaltation means to really give give someone encouragement. Sometimes things that people not even, don't feel so good, or I'm talking about like discouraging things. You say, Lord, God gonna bless you. You're gonna be okay. You'll be all right. You know, just a trial. God will take you through it. Some encouraging words to him. And simplicity. And, uh, you know, um, so he that rule, so liberally, li a person that gives. Simplicity. Uh, as we, if people are giving someone material wise or whatever, money wise or whatever, do it secretly. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Don't, don't blow no trumpet out there and let people know I didn't give this and that to Sister Who or Sister Manasseh or this and that. 
you know, you 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 do it, keep it to yourself and do it humbly. Do it unto the Lord. Praise God. And God will, uh, God, God wants us to love each other so much that we care about people, everyone. Praise God. He that rule with diligence, he that show mercy with cheerfulness. So we give, God wants us to be merciful and uh, cheerfulness, kind. And let, uh, verse 9, let love be without desol desolation. You know what that means. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a fake love. You say you love me and you're dishonest you you got a smile on your face but inside you're not you, you you thinking other things in your mind god wants us to be want the love of god to the love to be real unfeigned praise god praise god and if we don't have it real and un, and, un, and unfeigned unfeigned if it's not real we uh we just fool ourselves god sees us he wants to love our, everybody enemies and, and and the saints praise god Hallelujah. And I'm thinking about what I was saying earlier about them. I would, uh, Bible said, while we're yet in our sins, Christ died, Christ died for the ungodly. So all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And this is just, God is the way out and it's the only way out. You know, and uh, there's, and, and it lets us know that there's rich and precious promises for the people of God. God justifies us, like I said before, many other things. And, and salvation is open to all. And God has appeared to everybody to uh, His uh, the grace of God. If it's through the Word, uh, someone ministering to you uh, about uh, about getting saved, God, the grace of God, God's mercy, God's grace, a mere favor has appeared to everybody to teaching us to be non ungodliness and really what lust. And, uh, and I thank the Lord for I thank the Lord. You know how. Uh, when I was in my mess, how God, how the Word of God will expose you. Like you turn the light on, if you're trying to do things in darkness. Men love darkness rather than light, for their deeds are evil. But God exposed my life, and He had a better light for me through how the Holy Ghost was convicting the master. Let me know this is the way out. You need Jesus. Praise God. I thank God for it. No better life than living for the Lord. And you know what? When Christ comes in your heart, the sky is the limit of wonderful things happening to you. Praise God. Wonderful things have the best thing is heaven. Praise God. And let let's love be without desolation. Abhor that which I hate evil. You know, hate to see evil things. Cling to that which is good. And the word is good. Cling to that which is good. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, verse ten. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love. That Bible says so have a special love for the household of faith. Praise God. And honor preparing one another. You know, esteeming others more than yourself. Sometimes, I remember sometimes you go to the store and it might be a sale of the century there. And, but I just, like, you have to just say, you go ahead. You can, if they want it, you go ahead and have it. You can take it. You know, we had, and, and uh, sometimes we we'll at the restaurant or something. You'll be hungry and everything. And you want to, you want to be first. But you know, I'm gonna I'm esteem others more than myself. I'm gonna let you go ahead ahead of me. Praise God. And it works, and it, it's just a blessing. It's a love thing. If God is loving and brotherly love. Don't be slow in business. You gotta take care of business. Fervent in the spirit. He wants to be. He don't want to be hot. He wants us to be hot, fervent in the spirit. You know, uh, you can't be hot or cold. God will spew you out. Serving the Lord. Praise God. Rejoice in hope. We got a lot to, we, I tell you, the joy of the Lord is your strength. God is our strength. I tell you, you get to think about what the Lord has done for you and how good he's been for you. Even the life that we, being able to see and get around and, and your children in your face, your grandchildren and uh, whoever the loved one is, it's just God. And you just, even if you don't have family, just being alive. And God says, Mama, you know, we, we we got the Lord, praise God. We got it complete in Him. He, he he'll feed what he'll fill whatever need that we need to be filled. He's a father to the fathers, like some kids uh, don't have parents. God is a father and a mother to the uh, uh, fatherless. God wants saints to work and and do things to encourage our young people that don't have parents and father to to encourage them that people that have children and people that do. Uh, that, that don't take the responsibility or are not able to be a parent to their child. God wants to definitely encourage the orphans and the widows and 
praise God, everyone, then, then, praise God, distributing to the necessary, necessity of the saints. You know, when the Lord touched our heart, you know, how could you love a God? How could you have the love of God in your heart and you see a brother in need? Praise God. And your own brother, you see him and, and, and you say, oh, be warm, then feel. And you won't give him the thing that he needs. But we have plenty. God and God wants us to share and give to someone with the love of the Lord. And keep it, don't be, you know, don't be broadcasting what you do to others. You know, God's going to bless you. But we do it because we love people. We love the, this is, this is the, this is showing God's love. Praise God. Giving to hospitality. Sometimes people, um, uh, uh, you go visit people sometime and they just all friendly want to uh, offer you food and just kind. Uh, praise God and uh, bless them that curse, they persecute you. People that come against you, just be mean. Bless and don't curse. You know why? Because the Lord is going to take care of them. The Bible says, "Vengeance is mine," says the Lord. I will repay. Praise God. God will take care of them. Don't avenge yourself. Don't worry about trying to get people back for doing you wrong. Our business is trying to, is up serving the Lord. Let people see Jesus in our life. Rejoice and, and witnessing. Letting people know about the Lord. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Praise God. People are, you know, the time where people are hurting. God wants to care so much that we, 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 we want to encourage them. And if we, uh, those that are weeping, take time and, 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 uh, and, and, and let, talk to them about encouragement and encourage them about Jesus. That's the only encouragement that's going to encourage you. As people are weeping, the only one that can help you, to help us all, is the Lord. Be of one mind, one toward another. Mind not high things. But, you know, some people are so big-headed, they think they're above people, other people, common people. And they're not, you know, everybody's on the same level to the Lord. You need to be saved if they're not saved, praise God. You need to live a sanctified life. You need to be humble. And they require all men, praise God. Be of the same mind. We, when you come to how, you know where there's unity there's strength you know how the spirit i think about in the scripture i think it's i don't know if it's matthew where the devil uh uh i think jesus said with satan uh well anyway i think uh, satan against himself he can't stand i'm not quoting him right but if you got divided situations and people are not standing together you that's how you tear the house down praise god you got to unite together as one there's unity there's strength as saints of God, we got to unite together in the Lord. Praise God. You know, the enemy is accusing of the brethren. It said, be of, verse 16, be of the same mind, one toward another. Mind I high things. Don't be trying and, and condescend. Come down to earth. Come lower yourself down. God, exalt the Lord. Of Lord's sake, be, a, be not wise in your own conceit. You know, you know, too smart for your own good. You know, uh, trying to be so, uh, uh, you know, big head. Okay, recompense. Don't pay people back to to no man. I say recompense to no man, evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. So recompense means to pay back to no man, evil for evil. That's what the scriptures say. This is how saints do. Provide things honest. You ought to be honest to all men. Y'all not let nobody. You are not supposed to be uh, standing up for wrong. We stand up for what's right because we got to give account to God our own self what we do. Uh, fault, you're not supposed to bear fault witness against a neighbor, you know, lying. But praise God, liar won't tear in his sight. Verse 18 If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peacefully with all men. You know, you don't have to win no argument, let the person win and go on. God will keep you from falling. Keep that, you know, uh, we're not supposed to. I know sometimes people do get upset. But we can't let that over uh, run our life. We can't. We gotta overcome evil with good. When somebody uh, say something mean to you, bless. Say something kind. You know, a grievous words stir up anger. A soft word turn soft words, kind words, soft words turn away wrath. It would tone down the situation. But if it be possible, God wants us to. If it's possible, sometimes you have to distance yourself from people that are disturbing. You know, start disturbance. But if it be possible, as much as lie in you. Live peacefully with all men, praise God. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, rather give place unto wrath, for it is written. So he's letting us know that God take care of the situation. Vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. So don't avenge yourself. Don't take care of that situation. Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. 
If now, God, let us know. If somebody's hungry, is their enemy, feed him. And if he thirsts, give him drink. And for this, so doing, thou shalt uh, heap fire over his head. Praise God. Praise God. So God wants us to be kind to all people. That's God's creation, too. And uh, everybody has the opportunity to accept Christ. Praise the Lord. And anybody gets glory is God. Praise God. We have nothing to nothing that we own or anything, or degree or anything. It's because of the Lord why we're doing things, why we're doing so well or not doing so well. Well, doing so well. If you're going to be uh, boasting on things, we boast in the Lord all the day long. Final verse. Be not overcome of evil. Don't let evil overcome you. Praise God. We realize that's the enemy working. And praise the Lord. And uh, But overcome evil with good. God wants us to overcome evil with good. Do the right thing. He would keep us. And you know if your ways please the Lord, he'll make the enemy at peace with you. Praise God. Sister Vanessa, God bless you. These are some words. And I'm going to um, be on next Wednesday at this time, at this same time. And uh, I'm, I do come on Facebook on Sunday at 10 o'clock. So you can, you know, tune in 10 o'clock on the Vanessa McClendon. And, uh, and I'm back on at this uh, same time next week. And my pastor is on Facebook on Sundays at 12 o'clock. Uh, and he's on Triana Bradley uh, Facebook. And his first wife is on Tuesday. And he's um, prayer and Bible band, good Bible study. And she's on at 12 o'clock on Tuesday. God bless you. God bless you. Vanessa, love you. God bless you. I'll be on next week. And I'm just, you know, I was thinking about, you know, I won't bring it up. We'll, we'll talk on the next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.